what is going on guys welcome back to another video here so i've got a slight problem i think with this 12 valve that should be a fairly easy fix but i want to make this video with you guys in case you're having this similar problem with your truck specifically 12 valve comments i cannot tell you that this will be the same solution for all or any um, diesel trucks or trucks or cars in general but the 12 valve started having a very slow crank to start and my guess is either the cable ends are bad and they're not getting a real good clamp on the battery terminals or the starter has internals on it that are getting pretty wore out and bad and that's why it's causing this to crank really slow like it's not getting a real good fire off and let me show you what i mean try to turn it over truck started totally fine to drive it up there drove great uh he had it up there started it up twice once to move it in the shop once to move it out of the shop but we get up there truck is cranking ultra slow super slow and I'm like, man, I thought, you know, these batteries, like I, th I thought they were like, he said they were new batteries and whatever else, but I'm like, maybe it's just a battery. So I went and bought two new batteries, $400 later. Truck is still cranking just like this. Okay, so you get the point. Eventually, eventually, after you do that two or three times, it then starts to go rum, 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 and it speeds up and fires off. But it does that for a little while before it actually starts now. And I've done some research in some forums on Google, old reliable Google, doing some research in some 12 valve forums, some Cummins forums, and trying to figure out what this is. And a lot of guys are saying that it's actually either the solenoid on the starter or some components in it, like some bearings, starter brushes. I'm not sure what if that makes sense to you guys i'm not i'm not good with the lingo on the whole starter internals and what all the little pieces and parts are but essentially putting a new starter in this truck what a lot of people are saying can solve that now just obviously they said make sure your freaking battery posts are clean and everything else and tight and whatever which they are but even with the brand new batteries brand spanking new batteries it did this exact same thing at the upholstery shop i'm like trying to crank it over and it's like and then after like three tries it then started to go wah, 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 and fire right off very weird my cell phone ran out of storage when i was talking to guys over there but essentially it cranks really slow now and then it slowly speeds up and eventually fires but it's just weird and from what i was able to find on the internets was it is um probably something to do with the starter and the internals on it that's kind of where we're at i'm going to obviously check the connections on the starter first i made sure all the battery terminals you know everything was tight everything was good the cables negative cables going to the block of the truck and everything those are all tight i'm going to make sure that the connections on the starter are first are good but looking at the starter from under the truck it looks like it's a pretty freaking old starter it could even be the original it looks it looks pretty old so i'm going to take the wild guess that it might just need a new starter and that should fix the problem but stick along for the ride and hopefully we get our solution we're looking for. Here is a starter on this thing and as you can tell the cable in there on the positive is very corroded and rusty and not uh, not looking the hottest so we're going to disconnect the positive and negatives on the batteries real quick. We're going to take that nut off the top there clean that all up the best we can reconnect it and reconnect the negative right there as well and then uh, reconnect the battery cables and just and just give it another try. But look at the starter. Um, the starter is probably the roughest looking thing under this truck, so it might not hurt just to replace it. So now we're gonna try it again, but all I did was took the positive and negative cables off the starter, cleaned them up, sprayed them down with some WD-40, wiped them, and then uh, once I cleaned the connections and the cables, put them back on. Let's try it first with just cleaning the cable ends on that starter. Now, I've already tried cranking it over a little bit, so uh, we'll see if these batteries still got plenty of juice. Now it still kind of did the same thing. We're gonna see what the options are in terms of starters and see if we can get a new one put on here. It's one of those things that it might not make that much of a difference, but if it does, it's a difference that would be worth making because 
if the starter does have some components inside of it going bad, that's not gonna be any good for the person that's gonna have the truck next and they could just end up having more problems with it when it's cold or if they're in a pinch and they gotta get in and run and go somewhere and it could take forever to start. It's just not cool and it started faster that time but it still just had a little bit of a lag to it. But before we run to the auto parts store to buy some stuff for Flat Nasty, we're gonna change out the air filter on the Nasty right here. This thing is so freaking dirty. There's so much dirt in this thing. It's been on here for every bit of three years. So we're gonna get a brand new K&N filter and put her on there and hopefully help her breathe a little better. Just like that, brand new air filter. The lighting right here is terrible, but um, shadows everywhere, but brand new air filter. So we got the flat nasty pulled in here. We've got a brand new, well, I'll take it back, not brand new. Well, it's, it's, it's rebuilt to be brand new, but it's a remanufactured starter. It's supposed to be a Duralast, and hopefully this is the solution to a problem here. Like, I mean, the truck obviously it starts and it starts and drives fine. I just drove it into town, turned it off, started it back up, and drove it back home, and it's fine. But I want to see if this thing can really start a ton better because I'm just not a fan of how slow it cranks. And if this would fix that problem and it'll crank over nice and quick, like nasty red and rosine and stuff, like it's supposed to, I would way rather do that if I can figure out what that problem is because. You know, that's just, that's what I would rather have if, you know, if I knew this was going to be my truck long term, I'd rather have a much better starter on it as well. So I'm just trying to do what I think you guys would rather have me do. So let's get under here and uh, swap this thing out and hopefully that fixes our problem and it goes from a slow crank to a nice strong quick crank. We got the new starter in the truck. Batteries are hooked back up, so we're gonna turn the key and hopefully the slow crank is gone and the thing will just, you know, fire up like nasty red, you know, wah, 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 boom. Just, you know, just fire right up. So hopefully got that sound effect, the wah, 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 you know, just pretty proud of that, honestly. Uh, pretty realistic sounding. Anyways, we're gonna turn the key and see what she does. beyond happy with how that turned out. I was so nervous that for some reason there were some other wiring issues or something with why that thing cranked so slow. I thought maybe it was just bad connections or whatever, but big starts up just like Nasty Red now. Just like I said, wah, 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 boom, fired right up. And if you wanted it to start even faster, you could lightly put your foot on the throttle and it would probably just like crank up instantly as soon as it turns over once. But super, super excited that that was the solution to that. And uh, I think you guys are gonna be much happier with that truck when it starts in the winter. Super fast instead of a slow, long crank. That's no fun, especially when you got somewhere to be. Holdups are just, just not something you wanna have to deal with. I mean, this might be an original second gen starter that uh, 
never got swapped out. I could be wrong on that. I could be totally wrong. This could be one that was rebuilt, you know, a few years back or whatever. But to me, it looks freaking rough. I haven't seen very many that are this rusty on these trucks. Most of the time when I buy them, they've already been replaced at some point. And uh, this one looks pretty, pretty old. Everything under that truck looks super clean and mint, except for the starter. The starter was the one thing under that I'm like, man, that starter's an eyesore. Like, it just doesn't look good. And well, now it's gone. I've been keeping a towel on this seat so when I drive it, I don't, I don't get my nasty hands or pants or anything else on the seat when I'm getting in and out. I'm trying to keep those seats nice and clean for you guys. Look at the smoke roll, oh man. Freaking love it, freaking love it. So that there brand new starter was the cure for the super slow cranking. That's all it needed. So guys, that's just something to think about that, you know, just because your truck is starting really slow and the starter is still kind of working, it doesn't mean the starter's not failing or about to fail or most of the starter could be fine, but there could be certain components inside of the starter that are going out and they're just they're just not acting like they're supposed to. So um, that's something that I was willing to take the chance on. You know, a lot of guys might just kind of be like, ah, well, if it still turns over, just leave it alone. But I gotta tell you, when it was cold those last few mornings and it was like in the 20s in the morning, not a fan of a truck when it's cranking that slow and you need to build that compression to fire it up and get it going. I mean, when it's just like, I mean, it's just not fun. It takes up too much time and it's unnecessary when all I needed was an upgraded starter. That way, all the slow cranking and the slow starting is no longer an issue because let's just be honest, it's not fun and it's not fun spending money on those things. But it's worth it when it's convenient and you get to go from point A to point B a lot faster and you don't have to deal with annoying slow cranking and slow starting. So that is the solution to the slow crank, slow start on a second gen 12 valve Cummins. For the most part, uh, it could be other things, but for the most part, that should be the answer to your problem. At least that's the answer to my problem. The 15X entries are live to win this flat nasty plus five thousand dollars cash so right now every one dollar is going to get you 15 extras to win this truck plus five thousand dollars cash right now head on over to lmpgear.com simply place an order on our website and as soon as you check out you're automatically entered to win that truck plus five thousand dollars cash it's that simple more vehicle problems so wife hops in the 1500 turns the key to go plenty of voltage absolutely no click no start no nothing and it did this one other time about a week ago now, and she hopped in the truck to go, turn the key, voltage reads between eight and 14, it's like right there where it should be around 12, and uh, just nothing, not a click, not a sound, nothing. But when she turned the key, every light came on in the dash. The truck's obviously in park like it's supposed to be. Um, the mileage pops up, all the other random dash lights that come on when you first turn on the key and then they go away. Everything comes on, voltage red good, just nothing. Hit the key, nothing. And she stopped trying to start it, comes back in like five minutes, puts this maintenance free trickle charger on it and sticks it on there and the thing just starts right up. Like as soon as she touched it on there, which is, it's not a jump starter, it's a trickle charge. So she just like put it on there and thought I'm just gonna let it sit here to, st you know, to, to charge up a little bit maybe, maybe that's the problem. She goes in there, turns the key, truck fires right up. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. Maybe it's just coincidental that she happened to hook it up and then it was just started right up. Uh, so I, I took the cables off because some people have said that sometimes these things, I don't know if they were referring to these exact 01 models or not, but sometimes they have a weird, stupid computer thing where it just, for some reason, will not even attempt to start the truck. Uh, so if you take your battery cable ends off and leave them off for 10, 15 minutes or so, sometimes it lets it reset the computer and whatever else, and then when you hook them back up, it's all good. But in the meantime, I still have the trickle charger, I put them on the battery, just in case that is going to help resolve the issue, but who knows, another day, another old truck thing to solve. And the top part of the bumper flew off when we were going down the road, 
on a back road. There was nobody around us, but it did fly off, which is amazing. And so we have it. Uh, the other plastic piece is currently <laughs> zip tied onto the truck because, you know, just nice, nice, nice. But uh, so yeah, if anybody has any helpful information on that, I mean, this might, this might solve our problem temporarily. I'm not sure what else we should look into though. Reading good voltage, no click, no nothing, and then. Funny enough, we were driving the truck for a few days straight, not a single problem with it. Sat overnight, totally just start right up every single time, drive it around, park it, turn off, come back, start, like just as soon as you touch the key, just boom, just fired up perfect. It just, and then randomly, within the last week, two times she's come out to try to start the truck and just nothing happens other than the lights come on on the dash, voltage reads good, not a click, not an attempt to start, just nothing at all, so. Who knows, sometimes those voltage meters aren't always the best and sometimes they might read good voltage and the battery's actually draining and failing. Sometimes the starters have a bad relay or a weak connection or a weak ground or something and you know, sometimes it connects just good enough to fire and sometimes it just doesn't do anything at all. If you wanna get entered to win that flat nasty plus $5,000 cash, every $1 right now is 15 entries to win for all products on the store, not just certain products. Every product gets 15X entries right now, so if you wanna get those, get them in because 15X will end in a week and then 15X will not be back again. And the giveaway, by the way, does end in two weeks. It ends on November 24th, the day before Thanksgiving. The giveaway for the flatbed 12 valve plus five grand is over and then that's it your odds of being able to get in are are zero then because the giveaway will be gone so if you want to get in don't waste any time lmpgear.com just place an order buy anything on the store and as soon as you check out you're automatically entered to win hopefully you guys can hear me okay over the wind noise I'm trying to get my mic that i have misplaced for my camera so that the wind noise is not so bad anyways guys thanks so much i'll catch you in the next video Peace.